So this is how you make this amazing glass animation right here in After Effects. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Sam. I'm going to be tackling this glass animation right here in today's video. The easiest way to contact me or get across to me is by joining my motion design community. The link is in the video description or you can subscribe to this channel because I've dropped a lot more amazing videos like this. So without going too long, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to take this, my picture here and drag it in down here. So I'm going to my um, re rounded rectangle tool here and I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle like this. Now, let's go to our align tab and align to the center of our composition like this. So I'm going to left click here, go to layer styles and apply bevel and emboss. I'm going to open our bevel option and open advanced blending here. And for my fill opacity, I'm going to change it to zero. Now, I'm going to my bevel and emboss settings here. My size, I'm changing it to 4. My shadow opacity, I'm changing it to 45. And my shadow mode, I'm changing it to normal. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, to duplicate this our shape layer here. And for the one under here, I'm just going to hide it. I can open up here and I'm just going to delete the layer styles inside. And now for the one on top, I'm going to left click here, go to layer styles again and add a drop shadow. Now I'm going to open up my drop shadow uh, effect here and I can just adjust the size. Let's increase the size a little bit. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity like this. Now I can close this up left click here create a new adjustment layer and put it right in the middle here now go to my effect and preset panel here and i'm just going to type in tint i'm going to apply tint on my adjustment layer now i'm going to make this matte black too i'm going to make it white so now for our adjustment layer here, I'm going to change the track mat to this R shape layer that is hidden down here. So it's stuck like this. And our amounts to tint here, I'm going to drop it down to 12. Now, next thing I'm going to add, you can add a Gaussian blow here. I'll increase it like this and you can see it's already blurry, but we're just going to do something way more interesting. And let's remove that. And what we're going to add is we're going to add a compound blow. And for our blow layer here, I'm going to link this in the video description so you can actually um, use the same thing I did. Everything is going to be free. You can check out the in the video description. And at this point in time, this is what separates it from the other ones. Now, I'm going to drag in these two files. And I'm going to hide them. In case you want to see this file, there's this file here. It's this one that looks like a... Uh, Static, and then this other one that is like uh, ice. So, what is just going to be is that the good thing about this kind of um, effect and this kind of effect, you can use it for glass and you can also use it for ice. So, what I'm going to do is let's show, let me show you glass first. So, for glass now, for adjustment layer here, remember we have hidden them. For adjustment layer here, we'll go to effect and controls again, and on this blow layer here we're just going to select our glass so if you zoom in you can see that you can see the texture of the glass right now in this part of the picture so if i say i want to make it more like ice and i go to the second one here let's invert the blur and let's just increase the blurring the maximum blur like this you can see now that it looks like ice that someone has wiped or that is melting here. So for today's uh, tutorial, we are going to deal visually on glass like this. So you can see if you invert the blur, it looks different from when you leave the blur normal. So now let's just leave the maximum blur at 37. So I'm going to my effect and percent panel here and I'm just going to type in curves. I'm going to apply curves here also. And I'm just going to drag this down like this. That it can give another visual um, difference between the ones that are here and the ones that are here. And for the animation, I'm just going to 
press X, S here, open up here, press S also, and I'm going to link the scale animation here to this one here. So let's just move down a little bit, somewhere like here. I'm going to make a keyframe on my scale here, and just move it down here, and I'm just going to change here to zero. Now, I'm going to come down to this point again. I'm just going to move this back one more time. And I'm just going to write 108. Select everything. Hit F9 to use ease. Open up your graph editor. And I'm just going to animate it something like this. Okay, so we just move this inward a little bit more and that's how you make this cool looking glass animation so what do you think of that video let me know in my comment section and now that you have learned how to make this amazing animation you can check out to make this one right here and you can also learn how to make this one right here and i'll catch you in that video so from now to the next time remember improve every day grow constantly and tremendously i love you guys